Now, if I tag his a Ravi with Frostbite, he's just fucking dead. Goodbye, proof. That's a goodbye proof. Omen is not a debuff, it's a counter. Five K, I might not kill. Never mind, I'm I'm high. Hey guys, what is going on, Valk here? And we just got Lethe. I just played her a whole bunch on stream, and I think this is we're probably looking at close to the next Huaya coming up. This here is absolutely ridiculous. If you play slow, you're going to have a terrible time against her. And if you have the ability to outpace your opponent's team, then you can kind of just run her down. But otherwise, um, she is really strong. Her artifact is incredible. It, in fact, I, I think this is one of the strongest artifacts in the game for HP scaling warriors. But let's talk about the build. So this is taking a maybe half of the build is from uh, my current Fallen Cecilia, a hero that I don't use very much anymore. So a lot of high HP gear um, just kind of stacked on her. A bit middling in terms of speed. So what you really want is to make sure she has high HP, middling speed, and probably come close to 1500 defense. Uh, this is something that if I had the time, I would have optimized for, but uh, I just re-gear my account a couple of days ago, so I, I really didn't feel like it. So I kind of threw halfway between good gear and leftover gear on her. And this is sort of where we're at, and I think she performs really, really well. With, with her current HP, if I just had a plus 30 artifact, it would give her 10% more total off the top. It would actually bring her really close, um, if not over the line, for 30,000 HP, which does a lot of damage. Now, in terms of how I skilled, skilled her up, her S2 needs to be plus 5 for the 100% chance to inflict Omen. It is the bread and butter of her kit, and it is what makes her work. Her S3, ideally you can get it to the cooldown. I think that's pretty important. Uh, I don't think the extra 15% effect chance is super necessary, but it definitely helps. Landing Frostbite on a lot of units like Apocalypse Ravi or whoever you're trying to throw the Kraken at is really, really helpful. And Restrict kind of blocks your opponent's ability to be able to counterplay you. Uh, now, as far as her S1, I thought you wouldn't have to mola this, but her Kraken damage is actually completely tied to this. So, um, fully moling this gives you 30% extra damage on the Kraken. Really important, so make sure you guys have that fully molded. I tested it myself, made sure, and uh, yeah, definitely make sure you guys have that covered. But that being said, I think she's a crazy unit. Throw your HP and speed gear on her. Make her like a Fallen Cecilia or Last Rider Crow. Uh, the one thing I would improve on my build is if I can cut off all the effectiveness and put that into Efrez because she is a little bit weak to crowd control. I would absolutely do that and just kind of go wild with her. That being said, I'll show you guys the gameplay. We did GVG as well as RTA. So enjoy the gameplay. The Senya's not going to murder you. We'll find out. 27k HP. Alright, let's see. So we do this. Run it back being family friendly. I'm, I'm trying, boss. <coughs> Alright. Alright, Rans first, I guess. I'll leave Aiden for the Yule Hub. This is a full squishy Aiden. Is Leafy a niche unit? Uh, watch the video, stick around and find out. Spoilers, no. I, I think there is absolutely nothing niche about what she does. Uh, let's just get this Aiden out of the way. I think she does a little bit too much. How fast is your Leafy? Like 224? Alright, so there's concerns that the Senya might just body her, right? Guys, does it look like the Senya is doing anything to the Leafy? 
out of curiosity, you know, I, I'm, I, I don't have eyes. I'm blind. I can't see. What does it look like the Senya's doing to my 30k HP Leafy? Can, can you guys see? I don't have eyes. Trying to come up with a, with an answer for myself is, is a little bit too much. All right, let's see this. ML Lanny will not be limited. No, she said ML5. All right, let's see this. Fourteen K. She should be doing more damage than that. It missed. Wait, it did fourteen K on a miss? Oh no way, bro! What? Oh, enjoy. All right, evasion units, enjoy. Do you guys know of an evasion unit that has more than fourteen K HP? Please leave him alive. He crit. Zio Jacko Apoc. Coca Baby. Strip, we're just going. One temples for two leafy, three artifacts. Yeah, that sounds like you, you made it out like a like a damn villain. Alright, Karina's first. Let's do this boys. Thing. I skip a turn first, and then I, I, I stripped crit damage buff off of her, I think. Check if Leafy S1 Mola increases her crack of damage? I have not. That's something I'm wondering about right now. Slightly unfortunate, but that's fine. I got three Leafy... One arty and 70 summons. That's pretty good. <coughs> Alright guys, <clears throat> 27k HP, let's do this. Karina's are usually 17k, right? Let's see the shit. I have a very strong feeling it increases. <coughs> <laughs> with S1 Mola. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, what do you call that? We're gonna Mola it up. I think after this, we're, we're just gonna Mola it up and see if our damage increases. My air wall's not doing too spicy though. What a dual attack right there. Look at that. Holy moly. Alright. <laughs> I need to get you out of here. <clears throat> it is true damage. They, they say in the video it's full defense penetration damage. Look, look how fast she cycles though. Have you guys noticed? These characters barely took their f***ing turns. Right? I'm 220 speed with a speed buff. This unit is damn stupid. Oh my god. Uh, just don't proc. Oh, dude. Thank god, like, the dual attacks don't matter here. If the dual attacks mattered, can you guys imagine, like, how rage inducing playing against her would be? Fifteen point five. Wait, why did my damage go up? I guess it's because I have attack buff here. Twenty one K extinction. <laughs> God bless. Holy sack these nuts, mother. And he heals. 2023 Dark Corvus. Somebody said that in my Discord, and I didn't agree with them. I, I think I agree with them now. Maintenance for you. Usually 8 to 8 p.m. to like 1 a.m. Alright, I think this is what we're here to see. Yeah, I, I got like a billion uh, off-banner artifacts. 
Oh, I forgot a soul bird. Oh, that's a pretty big misplay. So I'm basically slow for a bit. I'm on Asia. I, I was not aware Asia has a different, like, mate time. For Lethe, no artifact. I think if that's the case, you just, um, it, that's really easy. You, you just powder her artifact. Each additional copy, like, it's not that big until you're two, three copies up. Yeah, the game should be up. Alright, we're, we're gonna run this Karina first, right? So last time, with attack buff, we did... What did we do? Last time, with attack up, we did approximately 15.5k, right? It, it was a bit over 15k. It was like 14.5k no attack buff. With attack buff, it was 15.5. Because, like, think about it, I'm 30 k HP, right? If if that was, like, not peak damage, this unit's just not even fair. Yo, we gotta max our S1, we gotta max our S1, max, 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 oh my god, that's not balance, what is this? Okay, guys, 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 this, this is not okay. Uh, yo, what's up, Nonia? Um... You just build her exactly like you have your LRK built. Oh, guys, I'm plus three on Mola. I, I'm plus three on Mola. We have two more Mola points to go. Guys, guys, this is not okay. This is not okay, I repeat. <coughs> oh, God. This is so not okay. Let me think. She's walking, right? You can walk these nuts. How do I build her? Um, hold on. L let me push her up real quick, so so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh oh, wait, that provokes kind of bad. All good. Just with a lot of HP. That's that's really it. I I'm pretty sure you still slow her down after your cleansers, but this unit's not balanced. Wait, 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 wait. Why did I do less damage there? That was 13.9, which is the lowest damage. What is the counterplay to this unit? Were you around the year Hua Young took over the game? It missed. Again? I guess it's just like... Huh. Alright, all good. This is my soul burn. If you were around the year Hua... Like, if you played the game the year Hua Young was around, you have two solutions. One, you beat her down. You just out-damage her. Which is pretty hard, because this is her damage. <laughs> and I'm not even fully mullet yet. <laughs> What's the difference? This this is basically Hua Young, but, like, you just take a slightly longer to set up. But she's about three times tankier. Okay, bro. Does Omen ignore... It's not a debuff. Demon blocks debuffs. Omen is a counter. Uh, I, I think that's the number one thing that people get really confused on. I have to hit this. What? All right, I'm gonna yield it up. All right, I'm gonna yield it up, bro. I'm gonna yield it up. All right, uh, arrow well OP, I guess. I can't kill a 30k HP unit. Okay, well, <coughs> guys, uh, it seems like I helped the turtles find a strays counter. Run it.
Push his backhand guy, that's really reasonable. Um, honestly, do I ever just go on the Lilius first? It's either go on Lilius first or Alencia first. Fuck it, let's do Lilius. Guy to a decision. He bikes here. Actually, no, that was a misplay. I think it was Alencia first. That might have been a misplay, so uh, we all in the Alencia here. I guess now our kill order is a little bit f Um, It has to be Lilius first, followed by A. Robbie, followed by Alencia. Or A. Robbie first, followed by Lilius. <coughs> Um, I need to not push LQC here to let Lethe naturally cycle. Well, let's see if Poots identifies what I'm trying to do. Nah, Poots pulled up. So him trying to injure me was good, right? Come on. Now if I tag his A Robbie with Frostbite, he's just fucking dead. Goodbye proof! That's a goodbye proof. Omen is not a debuff, it's a counter. Five K, I might not kill. Never mind, I'm I'm high. Like I had to be high on something to say never mind, I don't kill there. Yeah. Yeah, so like does Alencia seem like she's good versus Leafy? On paper, yes, but does your team have enough tempo? We played against fucking C. Lily's A. Robbie. Those are two of the highest tempo picks in the game. Uh, it's not gonna be as slow as you think. I have Leafy. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, it, it doesn't go as slow as you think. Leafy is broken. I, I don't know what you guys think I'm joking or what. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's our first turn. Who do we kill first? <coughs> Honestly? Down to start working the Lilius. She's gonna press S3 here, that's fine. No at level of pass plot. Uh, I don't fully agree. I think there are things she can do that Huayang couldn't do. Um, this is kind of annoying. We'll just soften this up a bit. It's it's this, like, because we're mostly single target, right? We ignore last red and pro. Mm, I think Ryle is mostly dead. So we're just gonna look to bring him back with a Robbie. That's fine. Uh, just do this. Couldn't strip, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, I don't know if you need a dual attacks there, Chief. Calm down. Yeah, people were saying like, oh, game stale. Like, C. Lily has been so strong for so long. Okay, well, they give you a unit that's not C. Lilius. Enjoy. You know, C. Lily is not that strong anymore. Hope you're happy. 
It would have been funny if her self imprint was HP. Dude, people would be crying so much. Alright. See, Lily is yum yum. Alright, goodbye. Alright, uh, Abigail yum yum next, I guess. Right, we're all single target. We just ignore Last Rider Crow. Nineteen K Abigail. Okay. All right, he's doing a little cute, cute CR push. Very cute. So cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Extinction too, just for fun. It also heals for fun. <coughs> like, all right, keep that damn, keep that turn delay coming, or else Ryle is coming back. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, Sam saw a prayer piece. That's actually kind of nice to hear. Can she kill tanky units? It's like 20,000 damage, true damage. It fully penetrates defense. He can't press S3 here. His search for rune stuck, right? <clears throat> so, like, everybody's losing HP here, right? All that matters is everybody's HP in proportion to each other. Yes, 10% is total. My 27k HP at, at Frenzy Zero is, um... Is 30k HP, Red. <laughs> it's 30k HP. Yup, it's <laughs> it's so stupid, man. Oh, Abigail, yum yum. <coughs> uh, you know we missed that one there, but that's fine. All right. Well, we have we happen to have. Okay, guys, look. Oh, what is that? A soul burn, you say? Oh shit, Venom! Oh, that actually reduces some damage there. That's kind of annoying. Uh, alright, I'll, 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 I'll take care of Last Rider Crown next turn. That's kind of, it's kind of spooky, not gonna lie. Alright. Kraken. Um. Bro, like, what is that, bro? <laughs> LRK's got one more turn. Sharoon's trying her hardest to keep the game together. That's on a miss. Do you guys see that? With uh, th through through Aureus from, from Last Road of Crow. Like, hello? A anybody else think that's OP? Just me? I mean, sure. Whoop! That's three stacks. Ooh, what is this? Ow. Uh, let me see. I have all my cooldowns. Neat. Yeah, and elemental mitigation from RTA. Hello. Say hello to my... Say hello to Rylet. You remember him? You killed him in the first turn. I knew for a fact from turn one I wasn't going to lose this f***ing game. No matter how ridiculous the RNG got, like, his team was just too slow. It could not beat me. So you guys tell me, how good does injury look versus, versus, versus Lethe? It just doesn't work, right? Because you don't have enough tempo. If you think about it this way, right, every game of RTA is a race between two players trying to kill each other. Injury takes too long and Lethe will kill you before injury even works. He has arguably the best injury unit against me. And Alencia too in the draft, right? He had three units with injury, including potentially the best one, right? Ban that out. Fight against these. Don't stack any venom on your Lethe until the very end. Well, yeah, he needs to keep my hand guy cleanse in check and keep my A Ravi revive. Otherwise, I bring back Rylid and I just kill him. 
Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful or enjoyable, you'll really help me out by dropping me a sub or, and a like. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments. I read all of them. If you'd like to see more of my stats or strats, you'd be able to catch them in my Discord, link in the description. That being said, I really appreciate you guys for sticking out till the end of the video. I hope you guys have a great one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya, see ya.